Hello folks, this is Wido from Wido's Astro Forum. We are in the last month of galaxy season, that magical time from March till the end of May, when constellations that are highest in the night sky at midnight point away from our own Milky Way. This gives us astro geeks with telescopes the opportunity to venture far into deep space and capture galaxies that are millions of light years away. In this video, I'll show you some super interesting deep sky objects that are awesome to observe and photograph in a telescope in May 2023. If you don't have a telescope, don't worry, I have a separate video about awesome night sky events that are visible to the naked eye. You can find the link in the video description below. May marks the last month of galaxy season. We still have some awesome galaxies that are high in the sky at midnight. However, most galaxies already crossed the meridian and are now moving toward the western horizon. Of course you can still observe and photograph these galaxies and I'll put a link in the video description below to my deep sky overview videos from March and April where I mentioned over 50 awesome deep sky objects, most of them galaxies including tips on how to observe and photograph them. Before I'll start my overview I'd like to take a moment to highlight one interesting object that is not often discussed but nevertheless great to observe and photograph, globular clusters. At the end of May, the famous Great Globular Cluster in Hercules, also designated as Messier number 13, will be highest in the sky at midnight. This globular cluster is over 145 light years in diameter and is composed of several hundred thousand stars, with estimates varying from around 300,000 to over half a million. Globular clusters are densely packed collections of ancient stars. Spherical in shape, they often contain hundreds of thousands of stars. There are about 150 known globular clusters in the Milky Way galaxy. Most are estimated to be at least 10 billion years old and contain some of the oldest stars in the galaxy. The clusters likely formed very early before the galaxy flattened into a spiral disk. So let me show you the exact date when these globular clusters and other interesting deep sky objects are highest in the sky around midnight in May 2023. I do admit I'm living in the northern hemisphere, so most of these targets I point out are best viewed from the northern hemisphere. I'll show you the exact date when deep sky objects are highest in the sky at midnight, including what type of object it is, in which constellation you can find the object, as well as their apparent size. As a comparison, the moon has an apparent size of 31 arc minutes. Most of these deep sky objects I'm about to mention have an apparent size much smaller than the moon. So a long focal length telescope really helps to observe and photograph these tiny objects in the night sky. Most pictures come from the Aladdin Sky Atlas unless stated otherwise. I'm sure you'll be able to take higher quality pictures of these objects with a dedicated long focal length telescope from your backyard. More information about how to get into astrophotography can be found on my website astroforumspace.com. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. I highly appreciate that. Well, here we go. Enjoy the overview.